What's up everybody? Welcome back to Monkey Wrench and I'm your host Monkey Mike. Thanks for joining me and today we are going to be swapping these GT500 injectors into this compound turbo Miata. Now before I proceed with the rest of this video I want you guys to know this isn't a sleight of hand toward flow force at all. Every company has their products, they have to make money, they exist however they exist and that's fine. The problem that I have is I don't like greed so I'm showing you guys a way to not have to spend the money on flow force and do this yourself. So here we have the flow force. I believe it's, I think they call them 680s, which actually these are 600cc injectors. This is their kit here. As you can see, we have some top hat spacers or adapters. We have some rings, we have filters, the bottom seals. Here we also have a few washers, which are gonna be some spacers, a little bit of lubricant. I just use Vaseline, but that works just fine too. Then we have some harnesses, which go to Denso Mail to the US car female. Now here you can see that I have built all the exact same kit here and it cost me about half the price and I didn't buy them in bulk like they did. So here you can see I have my top hat adapters. I got those off eBay. These are actually bigger diameter in the center, not much more, but we have the same uh, Denso male. We have the US car female and then these are the pins here to assemble this. Something that I'm gonna do that they for some reason didn't do is I'm gonna put insulation over this here because, well, it just looks nicer to have everything nice and insulated versus having you know these wires sticking out, which is something I had to deal with here and I did a really, really poor job of wrapping that, but you know, I'll fix it later down the road. But what matters today is that we're taking care of this. So as you can see here is the Bosch part number. You can get this on Rock Auto, Amazon, eBay, all sorts of other ones. This is an actual OEM injector. I'm going to show you the difference between the one that Flow4 sells and the one that you're going to get from Bosch themselves. This is what the OEM printing will look like versus these ones here, which are actually a knockoff. All right, we're at my computer desk here. You can see the Flow Force harness that they send. I'm really not a big fan of this, mainly just because there's no heat shrink. There's nothing protecting the wires and it just looks real ugly. I also really don't like the, the harness that they used for the Denso male side, mainly because it just doesn't match up. It doesn't look, you know, it, it doesn't have the little alignment pins and things like that, which you're actually gonna find here on the actual Denso injector. Um, it's just kind of, you know, how, how do we cheap out every way possible? That, that's really what it feels like. In order to get our harnesses looking like these versus like this, I trim down about, I don't know, two inches of wire, two and a half inches of wire. Uh, measure it yourself, make sure it's correct. Take our heat shrink. It's no, no kind of fancy heat shrink tubing, just some random stuff I got at the auto parts store. These are our little weather sealer pieces. Now I'm going to end up hitting most of the harnesses with silicone anyway, just because I'm, I'm really anal like that. <laughs> All right. So here we have the little grommets that seal the back side of it. Good. And this is how I do it. I'm sure there's probably a more professional, like super wire guy way to do this. I'm not a wire guy. In fact, I suck at wiring. Uh, a lot of people laugh. They're like, you can do all this other stuff but your, your wiring is terrible. Like, yeah, I know, but it works. I've never had a wiring issue. Um, everything I've ever done has worked just fine. So with that in mind, we're just gonna keep going with the spirit of things. Go ahead and turn it over so that your red wire is on the right or left side, black wire on the right side, and you're gonna make these face upwards so that the face is open. Oh my God, there's that fly. Let's see if I can get him. Come back. Oh my God, same one that was driving me nuts yesterday. All right, so we got them in there. And again, I'm sure there's a, a legit way to do this. Look, I got him, ha! Get him facing up like this. Whichever way it is that you crimp these wires, you just don't want them to go anywhere. That's really all that matters and you don't want to make a big old mess. Bam, I mean, it. it it's not rocket science, you know what I mean? Uh, if there is a special way, if I'm if I'm pissing somebody off who does wiring, um, I'm really sorry, but this is, you know, this is it for me. Not something I care a whole lot about, just as long as we get the job done. You don't wanna hit these tabs that stick up. Those are what's gonna align it inside of the harness. Red on the left, black on the right. Make sure these pins are facing up. We've got our grommets on the back side. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this little nipple piece hey, sticking upward. They go in like this, using the Flow Force One as the example, and they're gonna go right through these little alignment pieces here. If you need to, you grab your needle nose and just gently pull, and you'll hear a little click. 
There it is. And then now I take my little dealies here and I just very gently take my time so I don't rip anything. Push these down inside. Again, I'm pretty sure there's like some sort of special way to do this, but I don't really care that much. Uh, this works for me and a lot of times I put silicone inside these anyways. Um, I'll decide that later on. That's not really important right now. You know, you can decide if you need to. Uh, most of the time they, they work just fine because you just stuff them down in here, making sure not to rip or tear anything. And bam, there it is. Now you just take a random lighter. Make sure to keep it moving so you don't melt anything. Don't hold it in one place for too long. Hopefully you guys saw all that. Uh, yeah, you can see it out here. That, that works, right? And tell me, I mean, doesn't that look a lot better? And now the most important part is how to take this stock injector for a GT500 and turn it into this. Now it's not as simple as just putting the top hat on and moving on because this here is not going to fit into the stock intake manifold. We need it to look like this one right here. Now this is pretty easily done. So first we need to remove the bottom green o-ring and we need to get this black little piece off right here. Now it takes a little bit of maneuvering. We can use this pick tool or something else that's clever. You need to just get it off the little lip. That's right here. And there it went flying so hopefully it picked that up. There you go nice and clean. We can go ahead and just take this little piece off. There it is. That's going to work just fine. Now the injectors are already installed and I apologize for not showing you that part. It is extremely simple. It's just like installing any other set of injectors. In fact, putting the top hats on is exactly the same as putting it in the injector itself. Now make sure you don't put it in dry. You want to use some sort of lubricant like Vaseline, which is a name brand. So, you know, petroleum jelly, whatever kind you want. Petroleum jelly is good to use because it's soluble in gasoline or E85, aka alcohol. That way it won't clog up the injector, but it still lubes up your O-rings, keeps them drying out, and prevents any leaks or sealing issues in the future or now. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video. I'll show you how to set everything up. I'll show you the first start on these injectors, and we'll move on. I'll throw a link to everything down in the bottom of the description. So if you want to build these yourself, you're more than welcome to. Prices might have changed since I bought some stuff because, well, inflation and everything's going up like crazy right now. We won't talk about that because no one's happy about that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.